Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another sunscreen video. Summer is fast approaching and a lot of us look for sunscreen during this time of the year. And if you're somebody like me who prefers mineral sunscreen over chemical sunscreen, and if you're also a person of color, then you are up for a search of a lifetime. Mineral sunscreens tend to be a little bit not so friendly towards people of color because of our darker skin tones. Because of the ingredient list in mineral sunscreen, they tend to leave a white cast, a purple cast, or a grayish film on darker skin tones. So I picked up five mineral sunscreens, best-selling mineral sunscreens sold on Amazon. I'll be reviewing them, I'll be testing and swatching them one by one in this video. All of these sunscreens have thousands and thousands of positive reviews, so I am excited to try these for the first time on camera with you guys. So I will be swatching the five sunscreens in an increasing order. So the first one I'll be trying is the fifth best-selling, and the last one I'm going to try is the number one best-selling. So without any further ado, let's get testing! The first sunscreen I have is from Sun Bum. Mineral sunscreen SPF 30, it has UVA, UVB, broad spectrum coverage and it is also water resistant for 40 minutes. It is also marketed as a matte finish primer. This is 100% mineral sunscreen, it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. A lot of sunscreens I'm going to try come out a little bit oily, spoiler alert. So I am excited to try a matte finish one because in summer skin can get a little oily because of temperatures so hopefully this works let's see as always i'm going to apply generously that is what is recommended on all sunscreen tubes as well so let's see how this works it looks very creamy hopefully it spreads uh, I can feel it, um, definitely has a very powdery texture. It spreads really well too. <laughs> look at the, oh my gosh, look at the purple cast. Mm. It has no fragrance, like literally no smell. Which is a good thing. Oh my gosh. The texture feels really good. Feels really smooth and powdery and buttery actually. Oh my god, but the, <laughs> the wet cast is not good. It looks very purple. And it feels like it's not drying down, like every time I am rubbing my fingers in, it still feels wet. Pretty wet. So that gives me hope. I don't know. Should I hold on to hope at this point? But it still feels wet. I'm going to give it a 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes and hopefully the cast or the white film, purplish film goes away at least a little bit. Uh, it feels very comfortable on the skin though. I don't even feel like I have sunscreen on. It feels very comfortable on the skin. Yeah, but it's definitely not looking good at all. Like at this point, it is not good looking. No, very obvious white cast. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll see how it looks then. The sunscreen dried down quite a bit. It's like powdery to touch. It feels very comfortable on the skin and I like it that way. But the gray cast or the purple cast did not go away. It is very noticeable on camera and in real life too. I don't know why all these sunscreens are not people of color friendly <sighs> but 
I might definitely try this under makeup because it is also being marketed as a primer so I wouldn't hesitate to try this under makeup and on my skin the white cast is not too much so my foundation might be able to cover the gray cast and still look pretty good but if you are darker than me then I don't know if it'll work but if you're my skin tone then you can try to pull it off with some makeup and if you're lighter than me I think it might look good on you so this one says SPF 30 to get all the SPF 30 benefits I do need to use a generous amount but if you end up not using a generous amount or if you apply just like a regular moisturizer you might not see this white cast it might look much better on you so but I would recommend using a generous amount. I'm hoping this will look good under makeup. I'll be back with another one. I'm back with another one. This one's Copper Tone Sunscreen Lotion. Pure and simple. This is 100% mineral sunscreen. It has a lot of zinc oxide and the only ingre active ingredient is zinc oxide. 24.08% that gives me mixed feelings because if the percentage is too high they usually have white cast but there's no titanium dioxide so we'll have to see how this works and it also has some skincare ingredients in there it has tea leaf extract giant kelp extract sacred lotus extract and it also is water resistant for 80 minutes so we'll see how this works because i'm always skeptical with sunscreens everything looks fine but in the end they are like shitty okay very runny oh. <laughs> I guess I always had the same reaction. <laughs> okay. And some for my neck. I won't be going out today, but I need to do a realistic review because I will be applying it to my neck too. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have a fragrance, but it has a sunscreeny kind of smell okay it is already it already feels like it's drying off but doesn't look like the, the white guest is not dissipating at all oh gosh <laughs> i don't like this mm. okay there is still white cast it's pretty clear it has almost like a purple tint to it. Anyway, I will still like to wait a few minutes before I make a judgment. Right now, it has the white cast a little bit for sure. So it's been 10 minutes and there is still a noticeable amount of white cast or white film on my skin but it feels very comfortable. I still won't be comfortable going out like this without makeup but I think it will work really well under makeup and if your makeup can cover this white cast or the slight tint it has it'll work. So if I end up using this I will be comfortable using this under makeup and it also reminds me the white cast the film the amount of the film it has reminds me of the make prim that's one of the sunscreens I reviewed in my previous sunscreen video if you haven't seen that I'll link that in the description if you're interested in knowing what make prim sunscreen is like so but that was pretty drying. I always felt it was really drying. It's a good sunscreen for summer, but this feels very comfortable. It does not feel drying at all. So in the end, if you are if you are lighter than me or have a skin tone that's similar to mine, you can pull this off depending on what situation or what kind of occasion you are going into. But if you have darker skin and you apply the right amount of sunscreen, this will definitely leave this 
white cast on you unless you prefer to use it under a makeup which I might try but for now that's it about copper tone pure and simple 100% mineral sunscreen the next one I have is from Alba Botanica it's their sensitive mineral sunscreen SPF 30 it is fragrance free water resistant and it is a hundred percent mineral sunscreen it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide it is also made with hundred percent vegetarian ingredients hmm I don't know how much that helps so it has shea butter sunflower seed oil jojoba seed oil chamomile flower extract it has vitamin E, aloe juice, grapeseed oil, a lot of natural ingredients. They're not necessarily good or better. They don't even suit some people. So we'll see how this works on my skin. My skin can be a little dry and sensitive, but it, it has a lot of oil ingredients. So I hope it is moisturizing, but not irritating on my skin type. All right, as always, I'm going to take a generous amount of sunscreen for my face and neck. Okay. <laughs> okay. As I am rubbing it in, it feels like it's turning into like a liquid on my, my skin. I don't know. Okay. It's pretty difficult to spread not difficult I guess difficult is a strong word but it's not very easy to spread it's like it's almost dry already oh gosh why do I try these sunscreens they're not even good look at it <laughs> it looks worse on the camera the white cast is much more pronounced on the camera and I'm looking at my face in the mirror it's not bad it's definitely definitely present but it's not as noticeable as the camera huh see um, anyway I will give it a 10 minutes to dry down and hopefully it gets better the white cast but I'll be back in 10 minutes so it has been 10 minutes and this is how it's looking the white cast definitely went down a lot but it is not completely white cast free it also feels a little bit oily on my skin especially in the center parts of my face like around up here i can feel it very well but the white cast is not as bad as a lot of other sunscreens i'm going to try today or i have already tried so what do you guys think of the white cast of this one? This is how my neck looks. I mean, it's obviously much more brownish, yellowish. And I don't know how well it will work under makeup because most of these sunscreens that are oily, they tend to make the makeup oily too unless you use a very mattifying primer or a mattifying foundation or concealer. They will tend to come out glowy and oily and the makeup won't stay really well on oily sunscreens unless you have really bone dry dry skin i do have dry skin but it is not super dry and it's still coming out as oily so in the end it is very affordable it is easily accessible on amazon and the white cast doesn't look really bad it does look bad if you have lighter skin than mine I think you can definitely pull this off. So yeah, that would be my verdict. I might give this another chance. Maybe later. It depends on the day or what I'm going to do the rest of the day. But in general, it is kind of oily and not super impressed. The Alba Botanica sunscreen had a lot of natural ingredients, a lot of oil-based ingredients. Towards the end of the day, I had redness and tiny red bumps all over my face, especially on my cheek area. So I don't know if it's really sensitive skin friendly. It definitely says sensitive skin friendly on the tube, but I might not use that one again. So I'll be back with the next one. Next one I have is from Elta MD. It is the UV Sport 
broad spectrum SPF 50. This one is water resistant for 80 minutes, but this is not a 100% mineral sunscreen. It has zinc oxide in it and also has other chemical sunscreen ingredients. Like always, I'm going to take a generous amount and let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm actually excited about this because this has great reputation that it is brown skin friendly. So let's see. <laughs> okay. It is definitely fragrance free. It has a sunscreen fragrance to it. Hopefully this it seems to be spreading fine on my skin and the white cast is also dissipating pretty quick let's see oh my gosh I'm always nervous when I try new mineral sunscreens on my face on the camera it doesn't look that bad but in my mirror here I can tell that there is some grayish white cast. Hopefully that goes away in a few minutes. But so far, I think it is not bad at all. It still feels oily though. But compared to a lot of mineral sunscreens I tried, the white cast is really, really good. Like, I mean, there is not a lot of white cast. I usually always compare it to my neck see and I also look a little bit glowy like you can tell that my face is oily it also feels oily but I'm going to give it 10 minutes for now and I'll be back and let's see how it feels so it has been 10 minutes it has dried down by a lot but I can still feel oiliness around here it still looks glowy you can see it on the camera but the white cast is totally gone like there is no white cast the only problem i have is this oily feeling so as summer approaches the temperatures are going to go up you will be more sweaty and oily products are not going to work in summer if you're going out on like a hike or just out and about on a sunny day I think you'll feel very uncomfortable wearing this because it feels oily, that's the main problem. But gray cast wise, it's pretty good. It is definitely medium skin friendly. If you're lighter than me, you don't need to worry about white cast. But if you're a little bit darker than me or much darker, it might show up on you just a little bit. But for my skin tone, this is going to work. The next one I have, this is the final one for this video and it is the number one best selling on Amazon. I'm talking about the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This is also a broad spectrum UVA UVB sunscreen. It is water resistant for 80 minutes and it is the 100% mineral sunscreen. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Everything about this looks really good and interesting. Hopefully it works on my skin tone, medium skin tone, and I don't want it to be too oily either because we don't want oily skin in summer. All right, so I'm going to take a generous amount, almost like a half teaspoon, and we'll see. As always, oh, it's like falling out of my hand. Okay, I think this is pretty good. It smells like a sunscreen. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh, is this for real? I cannot believe this is the best selling one. Not yet. Maybe it will get better as it... Did I apply too much? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is not going anywhere. Like, 
it's still not dry on my skin or anything but i don't think this will go away even if it dries oh my gosh wow i didn't do this thank god i don't need to go anywhere immediately oh my gosh pretty disappointed how is this the best selling man or sunscreen on amazon like it's number four in all of sunscreens, it includes chemical and mineral. Uh, it has really high rating on Amazon. What's happening here? Maybe not good for people of color? Oh my god. Like, do I even need to wait a few more minutes? I don't think so. <laughs> Look at this, like... I definitely need to go in and put a really bad review up on the Amazon reviews. Like, what is this? I wouldn't even suggest this for Caucasian people. I don't know. Like, mm. uh, so it's pretty obvious. I'm not going to recommend this. Like, no, <laughs> a big, big no. Like. Bye bye, blue lizard. Australian sunscreen. Bye bye. So in the end, I'm not very really impressed with all of the sunscreens I used. A couple of them are okay and manageable, like the Elta MD one. It doesn't have a white cast, at least on my skin tone, but it feels very oily. And the other one I liked, kind of liked, or can tolerate, is the copper tone one because it felt nice on the skin, even though there's a gray cast, so I might use that under makeup. And the other one I liked, which works under makeup, is the Sunbum one. It is also marketed as a matte finish face primer. I would suggest that one if you want to use it under makeup. That's it for this video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or concerns and if you have any recommendations for sunscreen, please leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys soon in my next video.